the very first episode of Can We Smoke It? Hot Pockets. Now, I had someone recently ask me if they could use a Weber kettle like this to smoke, and you absolutely can, except you're gonna want your coals and your smoke on the opposite side of your meat because you don't want that direct heat coming up. So the smoke's gonna travel up through your vents you're gonna have here. So yes, you can. So I found this little basket at uh, Lowe's Hardware. I think it was, a, it was probably over overpriced, but it looks like a nice little thing to hold my bricks. So we're gonna use this to smoke our hot pockets. So I'm gonna measure my coals to roughly fit in here and we'll get those heated up and then the smoking shall begin. It looks like a good amount. So if you guys can see, like this is a very, a very cool little basket I found. This is meant for vegetables, cooking vegetables. If you wanna set it on top of your grill and throw your vegetables in there, but we're gonna use it for smoking. So now that I got it measured, put it in my chimney here. And then we'll get these coals going. And the thing that I wanna do before I light this, Let's actually see what kind of internal temperature a hot pocket gives us when it's fully cooked in the microwave and then we'll know when it's done on the grill. So we're going to get these going, heat up a hot pocket in the microwave, take an internal temp and go from there. As the smoke from the charcoal blows in my face, I'm going to get an internal temp in the dead center of my hot pocket that I just cooked in the microwave. 165, 170, 173, 175, 180. 181, 182, 185 degrees Fahrenheit is what we're looking for. For an internal temperature, we may actually put it on our Weber kettle over there. So once our coals are ready to go, we'll get this baby rolling. So for those of you that have these Weber kettles, you'll know that you have some oxygen control down here. You can open and close this. It's also for cleaning the ash out that falls into this bucket down here. But I'm gonna have it roughly a quarter of the way open for oxygen flow from the bottom and like I said I have this little grate I'm gonna put my charcoal in and then my my, uh, my wood chunks and um, that's how I'm gonna do this and you can do this if you're smoking like ribs you just want to make sure that your meat is on the opposite side you don't want that direct heat you want it over here and your vent is just gonna be on the opposite side of your fire so the smoke travels through the meat and up and out so I'm not really sure what kind of internal temp I want for this get our bricks in there oh yeah we're gonna use some mesquite I don't know why it's just what I grabbed let's get us a nice two chunks of wood in here see if we can start getting a good internal temp and try to hold this temp as we cook set those there let me get my grate get the grate set on here now what's cool about this is it has these little openings on both sides. So if you're doing the, something like a smoking, you can just drop a new wood chip in there, whatever you're using. So very convenient. We're gonna go ahead and put our lid on, have our vent on the opposite side of our fire so the smoke travels through our hot pocket. I almost said meat, but same thing applies for meat. You only want it on the opposite side, exhaust. So we're sitting at roughly 300 degrees already. So I'm just gonna throw these bad boys on here. We're at 300 degrees already. So I do have our pepperoni hot pocket. Yoink. <laughs> and a ham and cheese hot pocket. Now I'm gonna check on this periodically every 15 to 20 minutes to make sure we still got some smoke going. And we're holding a temperature, I guess around 275. It should calm down a little bit. And I'll keep you guys updated. Just a little update. We're actually sitting at about 375 now. It's not really a big deal to me, but that's where we're sitting for temperature. It's only been about five minutes, so they're not even close to done, I'm sure. So they've been on for 10 minutes at 375. Let's see what we got so far. Let's see if we can even get a temperature here. Oh, she's soft. We're looking for 185. We're sitting at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, so not even halfway there. More smoke, yes. Give me more smoke. We're still sitting at 375, 
20 minute cook time so far. Ooh, we're getting a nice golden brown crust right here. Internal temp on our ham and cheese. Okay, 123, our pepperoni. We haven't probed yet. 120, so we're about 50 degrees off, or 60, I can't math apparently, 60 degrees off from our 180 degree finish point. So I'll keep you guys updated, 10 more minutes. We're coming up at 30 minute cook time at 375. Nice golden brown crust, I'm telling you guys. Camera doesn't do it justice. Let's probe the center. 138, 145, 150. 158. So we'll say 160 on our ham and cheese. Our pepperoni, ooh that's hot. 151. I'm not gonna be exact. On the 180, I think if we can push to 170, we'll be solid. So, hot pockets on a Weber Ketter smoker. I don't know if it's been done. I really don't care. We're gonna find out what else we can smoke. This could be a series. This could be a series. I need to know in the comment section below what we should try to smoke next. Frozen foods are cool. I've got a couple ideas, but I wanna know what you guys have for ideas because this might be a pretty cool series to do aside from teaching you guys like real smoking recipes like ribs i told you guys how to smoke already we've cooked some fajitas some steaks so what can we smoke i don't know you tell me we gotta try it so we got our hot pockets where we would like in terms of color yeah they're they're a little crispy nice little golden brown here ham and cheese now normally you're gonna want your meat to rest. I'm not worried about that right now. We're gonna cut right into this ham and cheese and see what we got here. Ooh, you hear that crust crackling? I'm telling you, ham and, ooh, ham and cheese looks pretty damn good. That's one of my favorite Hot Pocket flavors when I used to eat them growing up. Don't eat them much anymore. This is our pepperoni. You can see we had a little bit of oozing there, which is completely normal for Hot Pockets in the microwave, so. What's in that crust? Yeah. So here we go. Here's our pepperoni. Ooh. So I'd love to give it a taste test right now, except they are extremely hot. So I'll see you guys in like five minutes. I wanted to bring you guys over to the grill setup that I have. Like I said, this very small black crate that I found. Let's take this off. This very small black crate that I found actually has holes all in it too for good air ventilation and it gives your charcoal the opportunity to drop the ash down to the bottom and not actually sit underneath them so you're still going to have really good airflow with this little grate that i found at lowe's hardware like i said it's meant for vegetables but this is perfect for weber kettle smoker so obviously your meat's going to be on this side i'm not insulting your intelligence but you do not want the direct heat unless you're looking for a sear on your meat at the very end so very cool. I'm kind of mad that um, I used so much charcoal, probably didn't eat it all, but you live and you learn. So if there's one thing I know about Hot Pockets, I always burn my lip when I bite into ham and cheese specifically. That cheese gets hot. So I'm gonna crack into this. It smells like charcoal. <laughs> it smells like a smoking. Okay. So, you really can't taste any of the smoke other than the crust, but you can taste it. And I can't say I've tasted a Hot Pocket like this because this is the first time I've tried to smoke a Hot Pocket. Let's try the pepperoni. You know what? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> That's actually pretty damn pretty damn good flavor on the crust obviously the smoke's not really gonna penetrate the inside <laughs> of your hot pocket but i'm telling you guys i'm actually surprised you can smoke a hot pocket it only took about 30 minutes at 375 we got it to about 170 175 uh internal temp and i'm telling you i'm gonna eat the rest of this this is pretty good 
So with that being said, guys, let me know in the comments below, like I said, what you want to see me try to smoke next. I want to do a brisket this Sunday in preparation for the 4th of July for you guys that I've never smoked a brisket. And with that being said, y'all stay sweaty.